Will Mike Pence be president for a day? Check this out. Leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. San Clemente, California. Hey, Buck, what's up? Hey, Tom. Happy Friday. Um, Thank you. Uh, now, uh, say our prayers are answered and uh, Trump uh, loses the election. And he has like 75 days or so until January 20th. So he says to Mike Pence, hey, Mike, you know, I know you, you had some stuff you wanted to do. I'm going to let you be uh, president for the next 75 days. All you got to do is pardon me. So is that a scenario? Yeah, although I think it's probably more likely to be acted out on January 19th um, so that, you know, all the outrage just gets lost in the scrum of a new president being inaugurated. And, and, and it almost becomes like a little technical detail or maybe even the morning of January 20th um, because, well, you I, know, the, the outgoing president really doesn't play any kind of ceremonial role. Go ahead. I don't think Michael Pence would agree to that. I mean, he would want to do something. And, and this way he would be able to uh, sign a few executive orders here and there, uh, you know, no more gay marriage or whatever, he, you know, is, you know, is rocks his boat. So. I, th I think those might be things that, you know, Pence would be happy about, but to be able to go down in the history books for all time as a former president of the United States, and Pence, his, his uh, pension will double, his Secret Service protection will expand, um, his ability to sell his services, whether as a lobbyist or as an author or whatever he may want to be when he grows up, uh, will explode if he can say that, yeah, for, for one hour on January 20th, I was president of the United States. Um, I, you know, yeah, he won't, he won't get to do much, but I, I could see that, that happening, Buck. Yeah. I think, okay. you, well, I think you're I, onto something, though. It, it's, it's, I think about it an awful lot. It's scaring me, but, yeah. you know, just yeah. keep... Thanks a, lot. Thanks a lot for the call, Buck. It's a, it's a fascinating take. So we just had a, uh, uh, during the break, somebody called in and said, well, what if, what if Trump was to resign, you know, uh, uh, he initially suggested, you know, a, a couple of months before the uh, inauguration, which would be before the election. Well, well, let's say it's after the election, but before the inauguration, um, you know, how does that play out and what might Pence do? And I was saying, you know, I think if I'm Donald Trump, I mean, trying to understand the way Trump works is, you know, or thinks can be a fool's errand. But, you know, that said, uh, Donald Trump thinks, you know, entirely transactionally, you know, this will produce that. And if his goal is to get a federal pardon out of Mike Pence and Joe Biden is going to be the next president, then he may, like one hour before Biden gets sworn in, resign the presidency and make Mike Pence president. Or maybe it would have to be like a day before because they'd have to swear Mike Pence in. You'd have to have John Roberts out there do it. Um, but basically, you know, and the, and the caller said, well, you know, Pence is going to want to have more than just one day. He's going to want to have enough time to, you know, like outlaw women's rights and things. And, and I was like, but you know, if he becomes president, even for a day, then he goes down in history as a former president of the United States. His pension goes through the roof. His, he gets a presidential library. His, his retirement perks are huge. He can sell his uh, autobiographies and his lobbying for a fortune. 